This weekend, we are going to see if it's even possible if we can run every step of this half marathon with little to no training. You ready Look for the race? This way. You ready Don't for the race? Yes. <laughs> All right, the we're going to the starting room. line. I would say that. <laughs> excited back there. So we just got off the plane from Hawaii. It's super cold here in Tennessee. Luckily we are getting into the van and heading down to sunny Florida to run the Disney Half Marathon. Well, a few months ago we bought some Disney Half Marathon tickets and all the training that we were doing sort of just stopped. We had some unrelated like sports injuries and life just kind of got busy. Well, a little less busy. I mean, we had 10 days in Maui, but still. <laughs> so the training did fall through, but we still have these half marathon tickets and we are not gonna let them go to waste because Disney is not cheap. This weekend, we are going to see if it's even possible if we can run every step of this half marathon with little to no training. And if you've been around for a while, you're probably rolling your eyes right now because you're like, do you guys ever train for anything? Short answer is no. Yes, yes we do, we promise, we promise we do. I mean, you know. All right, anyway, it's cold. We're gonna go down to Florida. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> it's too early. Too early, here we are. My eyes are so heavy. <laughs> this is with coffee this morning. I'm trying to be perky right now. Everything's fine. <laughs> this is great. This is a great idea. <laughs> this is fine. You may be saying, hey, didn't you do a marathon video? We did at Disney about two years ago, and we even hired a guy who did a voiceover. Once upon a time, there was a full-time traveling husband and wife duo named Chris and Sarah. I loved that video. <laughs> it's one of our weirdest videos yet. That was the full marathon. Now we're doing the half. All right, let's go. This looks a little different. We're filming this entire thing on the GoPro today. Morning. Just got to Epcot, so the half marathon starts and ends at Epcot. So we're at Epcot, getting ready to start. Start time is technically in 35 minutes. It's 4.20 in the morning. We're about to make our way into what I like to call the party zone. So it's gonna get really loud. You're gonna see a lot of people. This is where the, the race starts. It starts here at the Epcot Park and then we'll run 13 miles around and we will end right back here at Epcot. All right, let's do this. All we have to do is hide and we are in the park for free. <laughs> We have finally entered the racers only section. So now we're going to find our place in line and get to racing. You ready Look for the race? Way. You ready Don't for the race? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to the starting room. line. All right, we're gonna do a character count. We just saw Mary Poppins, what do you think? And Bert, this too. Mary Poppins and Bert. Let's see what else is up here. <laughs> can't breathe. You can't breathe yeah. <laughs> A 
opened up now. About two miles in. Feeling good still for now. So these characters are about every half a mile. So you always have something to look at. There's always distractions here. This is the part of the day where the humidity is finally starting to come out. My glasses are fogging up. So here's hoping I don't run into anybody. Thinking close.
All right, so we just finished the race. We have our medal. But the most important thing is the food after the race. They give you a banana, and then they have this really nice box. And inside you've got tortilla chips, cheddar cheese flavored snacks, Avengers applesauce, goldfish graham, giant graham crackers, and then sunflower kernels. So for those of you who don't know, I have a nut allergy, and this is a very nice surprise that I'm able to eat everything in this box. Keep talking. That's <laughs> <laughs> so hard. All right, we're gonna sit here and stretch, and then we're gonna come back uh, to the camera and talk in just a minute. You have your medal on. <laughs> I have my medal on because I want everybody to know that I did this. I, I'll go get mine on. It's sort of a thing. At Disney, after you're in the race, you wear around your medal for the rest of your trip, or at least the day of. So we're definitely gonna wear our medal so that when people see us picking out at breakfast, they don't ask questions. Yeah, it's fake compliments. It really is. Like, they're not really that happy that you completed it. Congratulations. But yeah, I'm- Everybody's so nice. <laughs> they're so nice here. So we finished up our stretching. We took a little break, showered. We look presentable now a little bit, so. A little better. Uh, this race, the half marathon was a success for us. Yeah. Like it was, it was great. Um, well, we weren't breaking records. We never do, but we ran the whole thing. We didn't have to walk except for the water breaks. No. Just, <laughs> considering how much we trained, it's very impressive. And pretty much the <laughs> entire race was in the dark uh, up until what mile nine or ten? It was as we yeah. were. Yeah, it was pre pretty much the entire small. race was in the dark. So it was pretty cool. It, so like you didn't nice. have the sun beating down on you. It was really, really nice. So nice compared to last time we were here. Yeah. We did the full marathon and by like mile six, it was the sun was already coming up because <laughs> they were on a delay and it's just awful. We're not saying this to gloat by any means, but we did not train for this marathon. I don't want to brag. Okay, let's, let's preface it by saying that we're pretty active. We go to the gym and work out and do some sort of workout five days a week, plus we hike for fun and bike for fun and swim. Like we're pretty active people for not looking very athletic. We are. And when Sarah booked this, we were both like, hey, let's get on the, the training plan. Let's do this. Yeah, and we did for the first few weeks and then life happened and- Hawaii happened. Hawaii happened. Donuts happened. <laughs> a lot of things happened. <laughs> and we ran when we could. So yes, we or no, we didn't do the full training plan. So I know that we could have done a significantly better time had we done the complete training plan. Yeah. But for not training that much and for having some injuries in the last month or two, I'd say we did pretty dang well. Yeah. So if you're ever wanting to do a marathon or run a race like this, I would highly suggest doing a Disney marathon only because it's one of the very few races, I think in the entire world, where you're not gonna get judged completely because there's always gonna be somebody better than you and there's always going to be somebody worse than you. There's such an array of people doing these races, which is part of what makes it so fun. Like the people watching alone get you through the race because there is something to look at constantly. Like it is so much fun. It was my first half marathon I ever did like nine years ago now. Oh my gosh, it's been nine years since I did it for the first time. I did it for my first tour. Wow. Nine years ago I did my first half and it was here and I was a new runner, I was very, I don't want to say it was insecure, but I, I wasn't a runner. I had never run cross country or anything. So I was nervous. And then this race just like took all the nerves out of it. It was just fun and everybody's there with you and they're cheering you on and people walking the whole thing. There's people who are, you know, trying to be cute and all this kind of stuff. So I'd say if you want to do a marathon, this is a really great first one. Now, if you're a really competitive runner, maybe don't do this, especially if you don't have a time to submit because it does get pretty bald next. I mean, even today, it was just like we were shuffling our feet trying to keep running because yeah. it just like, there's a lot of people yeah. and a lot of slow people too. Oh yeah, let's talk about the, the characters. Yeah. You mean talk about the actual race. Like, look, I love Disney characters and everything, but I do feel like they brought out the B-level characters. They brought out Mickey in the Magic Kingdom. We had Colonial Mickey in the Colonial Patri area. Patriot Mickey. Yeah, that's probably very weird. We had patriotic Mickey, founding father Mickey. I don't know what you want to call him. He looks like Founded, 17. <laughs> founding father Mickey. I don't know. So they we had saluted good, him when we passed. They it. had some good ones out there, 
but they also had some that I'm like, I don't know who that is, which is pretty normal, like some of the kid cartoons, which is fun, I guess, if you're a parent and you've got your kids and taking a picture with them for that. But they also had three different rabbits, three different rabbit characters. So they had the Zootopia rabbit, they had some rabbit I've never heard of, and I think it was Thumper at the they end. They had Thumper at the end. Are you sure that was Thumper? That was Thumper. And to make matters worse, coming up on Lilo and Stitch, Lilo decided not to show up. There was a line, but no Lilo. I guess that's who it, we think that's who it was. It was like a Hawaii set. Maybe it was Moana. <laughs> no, it was definitely I think it was Lilo and Stitch. It was definitely right. because Stitch was there. Lilo was not. Oh, that's right. We did see Stitch right up. So there. they had some good ones. They they really did. Yeah. Anyway, and in order to complete this video and complete the day, we need to celebrate. <laughs> we have booked a reservation <laughs> at what's this place called? Trails in. It's at our campground. It's one of it's the restaurant at Fort Wilderness Campground. So those of you who don't know, Disney World here in Florida has a campground. Like Shh, tell everybody. <laughs> so we have like we're doing van life here at Disney. And we have booked a restaurant and now we're gonna go get some like good Mickey food. I hope a Mickey waffles in my future. So food. <laughs> Alright, let's go. The first words out of the waitress's mouth was, it's all you can eat. It used to be buffet, but obviously for now it's not a buffet. <laughs> but it's still all you can eat. So if you've never been to Disney before, <laughs> Mickey waffles are a very popular thing here. Like all the restaurants serve them for breakfast. They're, they don't taste any different than a, than a normal waffle, but there is something about them that's just better. Mickey waffles. Did she know? Saw you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. that was impeccable timing. Well, I was gonna, like... <laughs> Are we gonna vlog in front of the bathroom? Yeah. Alright. I really just want to go take a nap now. What do you think? Yeah. There's a lot of food inside me. <laughs> I told Chris they still like eating contest medals, not <laughs> race accomplishment medals. Oh, that place is like Walt Disney and Cracker Barrel had a baby. They <laughs> oh man, it was so good. We're gonna raise the prices up. <laughs> Thanks. So Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. We're not for running. <laughs> We're not running for a while. <laughs> see you guys. Bye y'all. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.